Okay, so I'm kind of on a roll for TikTok cars tips, so here it goes. A big question I get from people is how should I be reviewing my mistakes when I'm going through cars? And also a lot of people like don't do this step, so I think it's like super, super important. So the standard thing that people do is they look at the question, they're like, okay, I got it wrong, this is what I picked, and this is what kind of like the test maker explained it. And then people usually stop there. Like they don't really track anything else, but it's super important to kind of track a few different things. The first thing you want to track is, you know, where are you getting the sources from? And if the test maker provides it, what kind of question are you missing? Just heads up, there's three types of cars questions, CMP, RWT, and RBT. You can check it out on the AMC website and they have a little document that explains each kind. But keeping track of the type of mistake that you're making and the question types that you're missing can really help you figure out if there's any kind of patterns. And I'll probably save that for another video. But the big kicker of what you want to keep track of is categories of your mistakes. So what types of mistakes are you making? Are you getting stuck in the passage and don't understand what's going on? Are you not using direct evidence when you're justifying your answers? Are you getting stuck on 50-50? Are you getting caught up in specific details that are not the main idea but periphery ideas and using that? Really try to categorize your mistake because that's going to allow you to figure out, hey, what exactly are the gaps I have in my car's reasoning? The second thing you really, really want to keep track of is what kind of steps am I going to take to try to fix that mistake? So if it's 50-50, one of the biggest mistakes that people have is they don't check what the question's asking for. Another thing that happens is if it's 50-50, they sometimes just pick whatever answer because they panic. So you always want to outline very specific steps to fix the issues that you have because then if you track the mistakes and you track the steps, the next day that you go to study and practice cars, you can try out those steps and see if it's actually helping you improve. And tracking your mistakes is kind of like the way athletes track their mistakes and their improvements through analytics. They see, hey, where did I do good? Where can I improve? And are the things that I'm doing to try to improve actually working? So yeah, drop any questions you have of any other cars tips you want to learn about.